Hey everyone, Lucy here. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I passed three AWS certifications in three months. I'll be talking about the steps I took, the resources I used, and the mindset that I adopted to keep pushing forward. So as a bit of an introduction, I'm a university student in Sydney, Australia, and I currently intern at AWS. So the reason I decided to make this video is because I've been getting a lot of questions from my friends and students on LinkedIn who are currently studying or thinking of studying for certification exams. They've been asking me questions like, how did I prepare for these certification exams? And what did I use to study for it? As well as questions like, how did I find time to dedicate to my cloud learning journey? So hopefully in this video, I'll be able to address some of these questions and let's get into it. First, it's about getting into the right mindset and knowing your why. Why do you want to study for AWS certifications and what do you want to get out of it? For some of you, it might be your first time learning about cloud computing and you want to use certifications as a way to not only follow a structured learning pathway, but also validate your knowledge. For others, these certifications might be useful in your current or future role. So by studying for them, you can build your skills and apply it to your job. By knowing your why and setting an achievable goal, you'll find it much easier to stay motivated during your cloud learning journey. The next step is to study. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut or easy way around this and even people with many years of IT experience have to dedicate a few hours to study for each certification exam. The good thing though is that there are so many resources out there that can help make your learning experience as fun and engaging as possible. The way I approached this was to first go through video courses and watch theory lectures. Once I understood the concepts at a high level, I followed along with lab exercises that were offered by these video courses to gain hands-on experience so that I'm not just forcing myself to memorize stuff, but actually being able to apply it. After that, I did practice questions and for the ones that I got wrong, I will read the written explanations and go back to the video courses to revise certain sections. So what I recommend doing is going through a cycle of learning about certain services and concepts and then applying what you've learned by playing around with the AWS management console. And finally, trying out practice exams to see if you have any gaps in your knowledge. So you might be wondering, what resources did I use to study for the AWS certification exams? And to be honest, at the start, it was a bit of everything. Everyone had different materials that they really recommended and really vouched for. And I wanted to figure out which one was the best for me. And I recommend doing the same. I've linked into the description below the resources I found helpful, but I recommend getting free trials of different courses and practice exams so that you can decide for yourself what resources to use. Personally, I spent most of my time going through video lectures taught by an instructor called Stefan on Udemy and practice questions from a website called Tutorials Dojo. Before I end this video, I wanted to leave you with some final tips to help you pass your AWS exams. My first tip is to book your exams in advance so that you can work backwards from a specific date and figure out how much time you need to dedicate every week to studying. Just remember that if you ever find yourself needing more time, reschedule your exam at least 48 hours in advance because you won't be able to change the exam date and time for free after that. The next thing I wanted to emphasize is that hands-on experience is a must. It's definitely possible to pass the exam by doing tons of practice questions without even touching the AWS Management Console, but it's really easy for you to forget everything you've learned right after the exam if you don't bridge that gap between theory and actual hands-on work. My third and final piece of advice is to block out some non-negotiable time each week for your learning. To pass three AWS certifications in three months, you don't have to study every single day and sacrifice time with family and friends. Try to work around your schedule and find free time slots where you can really sit down and focus on the material. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for more student and tech related videos. If you have an AWS exam coming up or have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Bye for now.